This is three things you need to know and one you don't. I'm Eric Parker. Governor Ned Lamont welcomed state lawmakers to the start of a new legislative session yesterday with his second state of the state address. He spoke about the improved economy but stressed more needs to be done. He made a pitch for his transportation plan, which does include tolls. He also said he supports legalizing marijuana and sports betting. Lawmakers are expected to tackle all those issues this session. In Milford, about 300 people are without a job after Subway announced they're eliminating some positions from their global headquarters. The company tells us restaurants are locally owned and they hope this move will allow them to better support the local franchises. A new CEO took over the company last year and experts say that could mean more changes for employees and customers in the future. And President Trump is expected to address the nation from the White House today after the Senate acquitted him of both articles of impeachment. Senators voted mostly along party lines with only one Republican voting to convict Trump. Stick with Channel 3 for more on his remarks today. And finally today, Nicole was plugging a Valentine's Day event where you can hug some farm animals. And now I'm taking Renee to HR. It's called the Love Fest. The Love Fest. We love it. Give a hug. Get a hug. Uh, it's taking place at the Whispering Brook Farm and Art Studio in Tolland, Connecticut, and you get to pet calming animals, horses, goats, ducks, chickens, hug some of them with a farm helper present. You can walk the trails there, and uh, you can also create art. So how cool is that? Give a hug, get a hug, and then go off to Human Resource. <laughs> Well, no, this That's is where Eric said it in just a second. <laughs> oh, you guys. That's three things you need to know and one you don't. I'm Eric Parker, and I'll see you on TV.